Imagine how horrible life must have been before we had a sound germ theory of diseases. With no concept of viruses, amoebas, spirochets and parasites, we floundered around with our hit or miss salves and poultices, salves and poultices, herbs and con concoctions as well as incantations and exorcisms for no tangible benefit until life finally left us. We get no traction on a problem until we develop a sound theory about it. It is not a hypothesis or a hunch, but a theory, a true grasp of what a condition is, how it presents itself in society. So now it's clear. We get no traction on a problem until we develop a sound theory about it. It is not a hypothesis or a hunch, but a theory. What do you mean by a sound theory is given in four. It's not a hypothesis or a hunch, but a theory, a true grasp of what a condition is and how it presents itself in society. Imagine how horrible life must have been before we had a sound germ theory. And then what will life be has been explained by two. So my correct order is three, four, one, two.